Hello friends, Miss Sally here. Today we are going to be reading a story about a dinosaur and the little boy who meets him. What would you do if you met a dinosaur? Would you play with him? Would you run away afraid? Well, let's find out what Danny does. Today's book is called Danny and the Dinosaur by Sid Hoff. Let's get started. One day, Danny went to the museum. He wanted to see what was inside. He saw Indians, he saw bears, he saw Eskimos, he saw guns, he saw swords, and he saw... Dinosaurs! Danny loved dinosaurs. He wished he had one. A dinosaur would make a pretty cool pet. I'm sorry they're not real, said Danny. It would be nice to play with a dinosaur, and I think it would be very nice to play with you, said a voice. I wonder what that was. Can you, said Danny. What do you see? Yes, said the dinosaur. Oh, good, said Danny. What can we do? I can take you for a ride, said the dinosaur. He put his head down so Danny could get on at him. Oh my goodness, that dinosaur came to life. That's pretty silly. Let's go, said Danny. A policeman stared at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. He'd probably never seen a dinosaur at all. I certainly haven't seen a dinosaur walking down the street. The dinosaur was so tall that Danny had to hold up the ropes for him. Look out, said Danny. Oops. Wow, said a dog. He thinks you're a car, said Danny. Go away, dog. We're not a car. I can make a noise like a car, said the dinosaur. Honk, honk, honk. What big rocks, said the dinosaur. They're not a rock, said Danny. They're buildings. I love to climb, said the dinosaur. Down, boy, said Danny. <laughs> Look at that woman. She looks very surprised. She looks a little worried, too. There's a dinosaur climbing up her building. The dinosaur had to be very careful not to knock over houses or stores with his long tail. Some people were waiting for a bus. They rode on the dinosaur's tail instead. All who want to cross the street may walk on my back, said the dinosaur. It's very nice of you to help me with my bundles, said the lady. This is a very helpful dinosaur. Danny the dinosaur went all over town and had lots of fun. It's good to take an hour or two off after a hundred million years, said the dinosaur. They even looked at the ball game. Hit the ball, said Danny. Hit a home run, said the dinosaur. I wish we had a boat, said Danny. Who needs a boat? I can swim, said the dinosaur. Toot, toot, went the boats. Toot, toot, went Danny and the dinosaur. Oh. 
Oh, what lovely green grass, said the dinosaur. I haven't eaten any of that for a very long time. Wait, said Danny. See what it says. It says, please keep off. They both had an ice cream instead. Let's go to the zoo and see the animals, said Danny. Everybody came running to see the dinosaur. Would you rather see the animals at the zoo or meet a dinosaur? I think I'd rather meet a dinosaur. I can see the zoo animals anytime. Nobody stayed to see the lions. Nobody stayed to see the elephants. Nobody stayed to see the monkeys and nobody stayed to see the seals, giraffes, or hippos either. Oh, those other animals look kind of sad. Please go away so the animals will get looked at, said the zoo man. Let's find my friend, said Danny. Very well, said the dinosaur. They are, said Danny. Why, it's Danny riding on a dinosaur, said a child. Maybe he'll give us a ride. May we have a ride, asked the children. I'd be delighted, said the dinosaur. Hold on tight, said Danny. Around and around the block ran the dinosaur, faster and faster and faster. This is better than a merry-go-round, the children said. The dinosaur was out of breath. Whew, that was hard work. Teach him tricks, said the children. Danny taught the dinosaur how to shake hands. Can you roll over on your back, asked the children. Easy, said the dinosaur. He's smart, said Danny, patting the dinosaur. Let's play hide and seek, said the children. How do you play it, said the dinosaur. We hide and you try to find us, said Danny. The dinosaur covered his eyes and all the children ran to hide. The dinosaur looked and looked, but he couldn't find the children. I give up, he said. Now it was the dinosaur's turn to hide. The children covered their eyes. Where do you think that dinosaur is gonna hide? He's pretty big. The dinosaur hid behind a house. The children found him. He hid behind a sign. A sign. The children found him. He's so big, he sticks out even when he's trying to hide. He hid behind a big gas tank. The children found him. They found him again and again and again. I guess there's no place for me to hide, said the dinosaur. Let's make believe we can't find him, said Danny. Where can he be? Where, oh, where is that dinosaur? Where did he go? We give up, said the children. Here I am, said the dinosaur. said the 
children. We couldn't find him. He fooled us. Hooray for the dinosaur! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> the dinosaur looks like he's feeling very proud of himself right now. It got to be late and the other children left. Danny and the dinosaur were alone. Well, goodbye, Danny, said the dinosaur. Can you come and stay with me, said Danny? We could have fun. No, said the dinosaur. I've had a good time, the best I've had in a hundred million years. But now I must get back to the museum. They need me there. Oh, said Danny. Well, goodbye. Danny watched until the long tail was out of sight. Then he went home alone. Oh well, thought Danny. We don't have room for a pet that size anyway. But we did have a wonderful day. The end. If you could play with a dinosaur for a whole day, what would you do with him? Where would you go? Talk that over with your mommies and daddies. I bet it would be a big adventure. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye.